Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn about the IO streams in C++. So we're going to learn what is a stream, what are the type of streams are available and what are the stream classes available in C++. All right, let's get started. So if you have any programming experience in C, you know, where, uh, you know, we use the streams such as uh, standard input, standard output and standard errors, you know, similar to them, you know, in C++ also we're going to use the streams. So what is a stream a stream is nothing but a logical device that produces or consumes information you know which is nothing but a buffer you know where we store some information and uh, you know from that stored information we, we can read or write to the program or you know to the devices and the next thing is you know what is the use of these streams for example in your program you know sometimes we have to read or write from or to a file so we're gonna need to operate or the work with the files and then you know sometimes we need to write to the printers you know we want to print some information using the printers and sometimes we have to work with some other kinds of devices for example some display devices or you know some uh, you know the terminals etc etc you know whenever we work with these different different devices we need to use different functions to work with them but what we can do is we can use the streams in c++ the io system is going to link these streams with the devices so here you know it's going to link the disks and the printers and the displays so what happens is you know the io system is going to perform the read or write operation that we want to perform with these devices and we're going to do that or we're going to work on these streams so what happens at that time is you know no matter how many devices we need to work with we need to learn only one kind of information you know that is how to work with streams so if we learn how to work with streams then you know you guys can easily work with these files easily work with these printers and easily work with displays you know they are linked with these streams by the io system so because all streams behave the same you know the same io functions can operate virtually on any type of physical device for example you can use the same function to write to a file or you guys can use the same function to write to a printer or you guys can use the same function to write to the display so this is the advantage of the streams all right the next thing is you know what type of streams are available we have text streams and the binary streams so what is a text stream a text stream is nothing but a sequence of characters so when we perform a operation with a device for example you know we're gonna write to a device so at that time the content that we're gonna write and the content that will be written to the device will be different for example let's take a normal file operation you know when we write to a file you know a text file at that time what happens you know you know the new lines will be converted to carriage returns or uh, line fields so we can say that you know when we use a text stream you know which is nothing but a sequence of characters so we can say that you know there is no one to one relationship between the characters that are written and those on the external device all right the next thing is about the binary stream so a binary stream is nothing but a sequence of bytes that have one-to-one -one correspondence to this in the external device so when we use this binary stream you know at that time you know the content that we're gonna write and and the content that will be written in that device are gonna be same there will not be any translation between you know the new line to carriage return or something like that so if you guys don't understand about these types of streams you know the text streams the binary streams you know just for the information purpose you know i have told this you know and then we're gonna move to the next topic you know which is uh, the c++ stream classes so these are the important things so in c++ we have uh, three main stream related header files you know we have io stream header which we have learned and used and we have upstream and uh, yes stream you know which we're gonna learn in the upcoming tutorials so this io stream header defines the classes you know you know which are used for standard input output operation for example you know the c in c out you know these are the objects of the class io stream you know which is defined in this header so in this io stream header we have i stream class 
was stream class and the io stream class and then this f stream header is going to define the headers in you know, which are going to help us to work with the files for example this f stream defines uh, IEF stream, you know, input file stream, OEF stream, out output file stream, and then uh, F stream, you know, which contains both input and output operation. And then we have S stream, you know, which stands for string stream, and we have uh, I string stream, you know, the inputs, you know, the input string stream, and then you know, O string stream, output string stream, and the string stream. You know, we're gonna learn about them in the upcoming tutorials. All right, the next topic that we're gonna learn is about uh, the built-in streams so when a c++ program starts you know there are four built-in streams will be created one is c in c out c error and c log and we have used the c in and c out for standard input and standard output you know this c in is gonna take the input from the keyboard and uh, you know the c out produces the output in the display and the c error is used for outputting the errors and also this c log is a buffer version of the error and uh, both these devices are gonna output to the display all right and the next thing that we're gonna learn is about the format flags and the manipulators so when we use a stream in c++ you know that every stream has associated with it a set of format flags and manipulators you know that control the way information is formatted for example we have already used this end line you know you know which is used to insert a new line to the stream and also we have uh, end s you know which adds a null to the stream and then uh, dec for the decimal representation of the number and similarly we have a lot of uh, uh, format flags and manipulators available in c++ streams and we're going to learn about them uh, in the upcoming tutorials all right guys this is it this is about some information on the streams in c++ thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe 